What is up guys, Cryogenic Gaming here, and welcome to my in-depth guide on how to build and obtain the fire staff. Now, unlike the other three staffs, this one is a little weird, so bear with me. Anyways, let's get straight into this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is come over to Generator 6 at the back of the church and power it up. Complete the generator process as you do for the other generators, and once it's done, look to your left and you'll see one of the soul boxes that's similar to spawn. Instead of collecting souls, it'll give you a reward. As you can see, there's one piece of the staff in it, so go ahead and take it. And while we're here, I'll also show you where the three locations for the fire disc are. The first location of the disc is going to be right here on these crates, right next to Generator 6, where mine happened to be. The next one is going to be on the upstairs in the church, right on these chapel benches. It should be right here. And then the last location that it should be in is head downstairs, and in between where the tank is, it should be right in this little crevice. The next part of the staff will be obtained by shooting down a plane. I'm not sure when this plane spawns in, I know it does spawn in when you're at the dig site, but it'll be easy to see as there's an orange glow around it. As you can see, I just shot it, and the spawn location for it will be right next to this soul box up to the right. Now you have the next part of the staff. It's time to move on to the third and final part. And finally, the last part of the staff will be obtained by killing the Panzer. He will spawn in on round 8, and to kill him, I highly, highly recommend that you already have one of the staffs built. It doesn't matter which one, as it's round 8 and the Panzer is pretty weak. But as you can see, he dropped the final piece, and now it's time to get the crystal from the crazy place. Go back down to the trenches, and on the Generator 3 side, you will see a den right next to the laboratory door labeled Fire. Head down there and place the gramophone on the table and watch the portal build itself. Remember, you need the red disc in order to be able to build the portal. Once in the crazy place, head over to the pedestal that contains the crystal. Pick it up and then head back to the main dig mound to craft your staff. Once there, head over to the red pedestal and hold square or X to craft your staff. Congratulations, you now have the fire staff and it is time to start upgrading it. Head back to the crazy place and at the fireplace what you'll see are these four gauntlets as well as a floor that has lava on the bottom. Now with these gauntlets, what you're going to do is you're going to need to have all four of these light on fire, and by doing so, you're going to need to get kills in this little lava area. As you can see, I kill a zombie, and it explodes in ashes, and as you can see, the first gauntlet is lit. I'm not sure how many kills you have to get for all four of these gauntlets, but you're going to have to get enough until all four of these are lit on fire. Once all four gauntlets are lit, you will hear a progression noise or a clicking sound, and now what you're going to want to do is make your way over to the church. Once at the church, head upstairs, and on the back wall of the church, you may or may not notice that there are circle symbols with four of them lit up orange. Now, each of these circle symbols correlates with a torch with a number alongside it downstairs. What you're going to want to do is punch in the four number code with the fire by shooting each torch with the fire staff i am not really sure which circle symbol correlates with which number so i'm going to put a link for the code for which ones correlate together in the description so once you figure out which circle symbol correlates with what which one of your numbers go to each of the numbers and as you are seeing me do in this video shoot them with the fire staff if you typed in the code right you should see that in the middle of the vortex the light beam is shining down on the map just like the other staffs what you're going to need to do is turn each of these circular panels to match the color of your staff in this case because we're doing the fire staff it's red once you've turned all of them to red come over to this fiery orb and shoot it You'll know if you did this right if all of the four panels light up and the ball flies up into the heavens. You are now ready to move on to the final step. Go back to the crazy place and place your staff into the pedestal. Like the other staffs, what you're going to need to get to do is get approximately 25 soul kills. You'll know when your staff is done when you are able to pick it up and Samantha should start talking. Congratulations, you have obtained the Kagasuchi's blood. Cool things you can do with the staff are, you can melee with it, like the other staffs. You can shoot the revive thing, that will revive other players and kinda kill zombies, like the other staffs. It has a better shot as a whole, and if, if, and if you hold RT, then it should charge up, and once you release it, it should release three tiny, almost magma-like volcanoes. I hope you enjoyed the final guide on how to obtain the bias staff.
please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe so I know you like this kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of gameplay with the fire staff. Thank you for watching. I'm Cryogenic Gaming, and have a great day. We cannot allow them to take in. My own survival. Greater good. Sleeping bear. No animal can escape the fire. I will fuel the fires of revolution. Your fetid touch is unwelcome. There's nothing you can do to stop my advance. 